YouTube, what's good? It's your boy the fourth Ken, and I'm back with another video. First things first, shout out Lixit, man. These beats is crazy. He putting in work with these beats, man. Make sure you go in the description, check out his link. He got links to lease or buy beats. Make sure you check out my boy. Today we got a crazy transformation, man. I left my client speechless, man. Stick to the end to see his reaction. First things first, we're gonna comb out his hair. His hair texture is strange. I'm, it's rare that I encounter textures like these. Basically the sides are curly, but the top is straight. So he showed me a picture of what he wanted. I never cut this man's hair before. So I'm completely unfamiliar with what's gonna be under all this. So I'm going in with a five guard just to be safe. And the reason I'm going against the green is because he obviously doesn't, doesn't have waves. So you just wanna save time and just knock the hair down. So I'm going in with my five guard. And this is usually like a safe length. Um, my plan was to wash and condition his hair after I cut it down, which I did do, but you, you guys will see what I do next. So after I did the five, I went with a four. Um, I wanted his hair to lay down just a tad bit more before I washed it. And this four, I'm very, very happy that I did a four. I also recommend washing your client's hair um, after you cut like a lot of hair off. Because you know, sometimes they'll have like just grease and buildup. So this is what his hair looked like after I washed it and conditioned it. It's important to condition your hair, your client's hair. You don't wanna just wash it and strip uh, your clients of the moisture from their scalp, the natural oils. You wanna add that back in there. Um, so the first guideline we're gonna be making is with our detachables. I've been trying to stay away from making guidelines with trimmers, just because it can make, it's just gonna make the, my job harder for me later on. So I've been doing this and it's been working for me. It's been working very good. So I'm gonna stick with this technique that I've been using. And I'm sort of like flicking out when I get to like my desired line. So basically what he wanted was like a mid fade. He didn't really know what he wanted. He kind of gave me my creative ability, uh, but I wanted to give him C cups. I just felt like that's the safe route to go on a new client. Sometimes when you give someone a, a high fade or a mid fade with no C cups, uh, Sometimes they can look weird. It can make their head look boxy. Um, he does have a naturally squarish head, but I just felt like C cups would look good. So these are my mythic clippers. I just grabbed these. I highly recommend them. Honestly, they're sold out everywhere. I got them off eBay. As you can see, I went up about an inch with my first guideline. And right under that, I dropped down with my lever halfway and then I closed it. I haven't even zero gapped these clippers. They pretty much come zero gapped. They're very, very good clippers. The one downside to them, they are extremely heavy. Feels like there's like a brick in your hand, but it's very worth it. Um, I don't mind heavy clippers. They feel more professional, if that kind of makes sense. But these are great. I really recommend them. So I'm just going all around his head, following the same step that I use. And now instead of going with my one guard open, I'm going with my one guard closed about three quarters of an inch. So not a full inch, but about three quarters of an inch. You still wanna give yourself room to fade up above this without pushing it into a high fade. So notice how I'm controlling my guidelines. Next, we're gonna take our one, the same guard and open up the lever. And notice how I'm just scooping out. I'm not trying to really make it harsh because it's just gonna make your job harder later on. Um, you definitely wanna put in your one guard clothesline harsh without flicking out. Um, but with this line, the one open, you definitely wanna flick out above this. Next, you're gonna to wanna to grab your three guard. So since it was a four on top, this pretty much just blends right in. So I went with my three guard open and now I close my lever. And as you can see, we're just debulking before we really truly start fading that top guideline in. And I'm being careful not to go up near his crown. You don't want to turn this into a high fade. 
even though at the end the end result it was pretty high but you know he gave me a creative ability to pretty much do what i want so i felt like this haircut fit him now i have my two guard and the lever is fully open and just notice the angles i'm using with my clipper now i don't know why i switched to my ergos i feel like i think because my hand was getting tired but yeah and then i i'm doing the same step that i did with the three guard you want to have it fully open and then you're going to want to close it Notice how when it's fully open, I'm kind of like scooping out, but when it's closed, I'm digging in to really try and fade that line out. This isn't gonna get the line out. You're still gonna have to go in with your one and a half guard, but this definitely will assist you and help you. So with cutting new clients, I like to tell people this all the time. Like the first time you cut a new client, it's not gonna be the, the, the full potential of the haircut. You know, you gotta get used to someone's head and their hair patterns. So I like to tell all my new clients this, like, look, it's like at the end result, like, look, it's sharp to you, but to me, I know I could always do better. This haircut wasn't like a 10 out of 10, but it was pretty good. I, I, I'm satisfied with it. Now I have my one and a half guard. I switched back a while over and I pretty much starting with it closed. Um, I went in with the lever open, but I pretty much close it right away because the, the one and a half guard open the Babyliss one and a half guard, it's pretty much equivalent to the two clothes. So now this is an important step. I have my zero guard, but my Babyliss zero guard is the 0 0.5 guard. And this is just softening the lineup. I'm really only doing this for the video in case any beginners are watching this. For any advanced barbers, you don't really need to do this. This will help you, but it's not like crucial. Like it's not gonna make or break your fade. But this kind of blends the area between the one guard and the, the half, the wall premium half guard, the one that I'm using right now. So this is the wall half guard, but this cuts closer than the Andes zero guard or in the Bab Babyliss uh, zero guard, it cuts way closer. So this can pretty much get out that bottom guy line, as you can see, it's crushing through it right now. And of course you're gonna have to go back and detail it, but this, it, it, this gets the bottom line out for me. I really used to hate doing voiceovers. Like if you guys check out my old content, I used to hate it because I didn't, I felt weird talking, but I could talk to y'all for hours, man. It just feels like I'm having a conversation with, with people who watch my videos. So now I'm just detailing it with my Babyliss FX, my gold one. I don't know why, but this one, this clipper is just like my comfort clipper. Everyone has that detail comfort clipper where they always go back to detail a haircut with. Maybe it's because the blades are kind of worn down and the levers loose. So I could easily flick it up and down without it getting stuck. You know how new clippers, the lever's kind of stiff and you can't really loosen it or else the clipper's gonna fall apart. This one, oh man, this is my comfort clipper right here. So I'm just hitting it with the corners, just detailing. I'm more so refining the fade. And notice how I was switching back to my one guard, different guards, just using the corners to refine those dark spots. He has a weird shaped head. So if you notice, when I turn his head, when you're looking at it from the back, Basically, it looks like he has dark spots within the curvatures of his head, but it's really not dark spots. It's just shadows. So now we're going to get started on his hairline. As you can see, his front line was kind of curling up. So I'm taking my foreguard. Even though I did take his whole head down with the foreguard, I kind of left the hairline alone just because I didn't know what was under there. So right here, I'm just look, looking under his hairline to see how much bangs he has. And we're gonna get started on the shape up. It's pretty straightforward. Make it sharp, make it symmetrical, and don't push it back. It may look like I'm pushing him back, but as you guys saw, I just lifted it up. It's just his overhang. He hasn't gotten a haircut in months, in months. I'm not sure what was the specific, how many months, but it was a very long time. So with that, when a client wolfs like that, and then you wash and condition their hair, get it laid down, you pretty much have to create the hairline yourself. So that's what I'm doing right now. So as you can see, his left side of his lineup, this side is very light compared to the other side. Um, there's nothing you could really do about it. 
I'm sure I could have tapered it down to match it, but we're gonna enhance it anyway so it can match. But this is his like weak hairline side, like his hairline isn't that strong on that side. But as you can see, that's crispy and that's before enhancements. So right now we're gonna enhance it. A lot of people ask what enhancements I use. I use Kiss Express, the darkest brown color, the dark brown color. I think the color is called darkest brown. Um, but yeah, we're gonna get started on his facial hair. The picture he showed me, he pretty much had like a goatee, but it was like a thicker goatee. But his facial hair was 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 wild. Like he was really woofing for a long time. So we had to get him together completely. So I took his facial hair down to a three, closed with the grain. And we're just shaping it up into that goatee shape, that defined goatee shape. And that's how the fade's looking right now. It's crispy, man. This is with enhancements. It's super crispy. This is his reaction. It's crazy. Man. <laughs> yeah, Sharp, bro. Thank you, man. Hey, I don't even know what to say. I'm speechless. So as you guys can see, this is a great cut, nice crispy fade, crispy hairline, my client's satisfied. Make sure you guys follow me on Instagram at the fourth Ken, and make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. It's the fourth Ken, and I'm out. Peace.